What's the worst that could happen? Oh, there's a zombie Santa Claus! They're weakened by the bonfire. Sure thing, whatever you say. Die, Santa Claus! Die! Oh, no, don't put out the fire. I need that. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to an episode of Last Night on Survival 3. We return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to week three of season four, the Christmas season. That is right. Right here and right meow, the third week has begun. And along with it, not only do we have a new set of tasks that we gotta knock out, there is also a brand new type of location that we must go and explore. So without further ado, and no delay, we are bringing up a two ties over there on the lickety split. And also a little bit later in the video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about why, uh, well, first and foremost, sorry for the lack of videos. Over the past a couple of days, just had kind of some scary stuff pop up and I'll go in depth on it a little bit later in the video but just want to say really sorry about the lack of videos for the last a couple of days just because there has been quite a lot going on both expected and unexpected that kind of made this perfect storm of uh well not being able to upload but that's all good ladies and gentlemen we're back and not just are we back we're back with some new stuff to check out over here at the frozen one but yeah super sorry about that lads and lasses and oh Negative 44 degrees Celsius. I have a feeling we might start freezing to death here. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned, but YOLO, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, there's a zombie Santa Claus! They're weakened by the bonfire, sure thing, whatever you say. Die, Santa Claus, die. Oh, no, don't put out the fire, I need that. I need that, he doesn't seem to care. What's going on? How do I put the fire back? Oh! Are there more fires? Dude, I better not start dying. Hold on. Please tell me that there's more fires because I don't really have any wood with me. I was not expecting this to happen. Please tell me there's another fire. I gotta light it. I gotta light it. I can't light it. Okay, well, 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 well. I will return. I apparently need some wood. <laughs> Hello, okie dokie, y'all. We got a stack of wood with us. And uh, yeah, so note to you guys, if you're under the frozen wood and you are preparing to fight freaking zombie Santa Claus himself, you need to have a little bit of wood. Yeah, build that freaking campfire right here, right now. Die, gnome zombies! Die, Mr. Klaus! We must bring him to the fire. He is weak by the fire. No, don't. I, I'm building another one. I'm building another one. Ha! Ha, Klaus! Ha! That's what you get. You cannot extinguish the fire, nor my spirit. Sorry, I just had to, uh, like, uh, this took a real motivational turn here. I know, I know. But yeah. Okay, so what happens if I fight Santa Claus away from the fire? Come on, Mr. Claus. I literally do one damage a pop. Well, okie dokie. In that case, uh, come on over to the fire, Mr. Claus. You are the brand spanking new winner of a fresh batch of death, baby. Woo! And with this new lad defeated, we have his decapitated head, which gives us 875 rank points plus some golden tape. You love to see it, and ooh, you love to see some of the warm clothes and other stuff. And oh, he had some wood on him. Okay, so I could have probably just grabbed some wood. Noted. What do we have over here? Oy vey, the frozen giant. Luckily, and similarly to what just happened, though, if we bring the frozen giant over hither by the fire we can indeed inflict full damage to this lad so as long as we continue doing that does he gain health okay okay and we don't really need to avoid him as much as i was trying to avoid him over there no don't extinguish the keep that fire oh no oh he summons friends oh i was not expecting this i thought we were done i thought only santa claus himself had the power luckily it looks like we had some sort of task complete so you love to see it okie dokie this event is going to be more difficult than I anticipated. It turns out that everyone's a douche canoe, not just a zombie Santa. So let's go ahead and uh, hit him with the slow-mo. Try to pump him full of a couple more bullets. Stop putting out my campfire. That is very rude of you, Mr. Frozen Giant. And oh my God, I got to deal with some more of these dumb zombies. At least, and it, I am so happy about this. They do not regenerate health when we got to deal with them. And speaking of things that we got to do, I'm going to bring out some of the big guns here. And by big guns, I mean big saws. So you... Do you like saws? Good, because I have a fully automatic one that is going to saw you in half. Okay, we need a little bit more saw than that, and let's go. He has fallen. We got some of that. But yeah, speaking of the zombie head, that is huge, because now we have the best type of ornament for the topper for our tree. So already magnificent progress being made today. You love it. to see it, lads and lassies. And all right, let's continue exploring over here, because yeah, we're going to get another one of them. Okie dokie, artichokey. Well, Mr. Frozen Giant, if you will ever so kindly follow me over here so I can saw you in half as well, my comrade. 
and then he will probably try to extinguish this fire like the douche canoe that he is. Yes, that is indeed exactly what he had just done. At least the numb zombies don't require a fire. They just kind of, they, they just kind of, you know, cooperate. Yeet! Let's get a little, oh wow, he had one health left over while your head's going to the dang stratosphere, brother. That's what you get for thinking that you can have one health left over on me, but I'm so excited to bring that over to Nick Sandy's house because, uh, well, we got to start decking out the Christmas tree and we've been saving a lot of our golden duct tape specifically for this head. However, there is some bad news. Apparently, I've been doing a little bit of research into these rankings and apparently, dude, there's people with like 47,000 points that aren't even in the top 5%. That is absurd. I, I, I'm i gonna look into this a little bit more and potentially even make a video going a bit more in depth on it, but I, I don't even understand how that's possible, dude, because that is insane, but that's besides the point. The point is, let's continue killing, shall we? Honestly, I might go ahead and use the VSS action a little bit over here as well. I'm gonna try to bring the frozen giant and then the VSS should be able to get a lot of hits very quickly. I forgot to build a fire. Okay, there we go. Let's him with the slow-mo and then just try to pump him full of as much VSS as possible because I just don't want him to freaking put away the fire, man. That's so rude of you to do, you little douche canoe. Okay, let's build that fire. Let's pump you full of a couple more bullets before you decide to run away too far. And I got a feeling my pistol's about to break and the VSS is coming out. And there you go. Those douche canoes have been dealt with as well. And is this the is this the last friend's frozen giant I got to deal with over here? And then all will be good, I hope, because I am sick and tired of it. Woo! We got some sort of a task completed. I'm not entirely sure what, but hey, we got a level. We got some Kevlar boots. We got a hazmat jacket. And ooh, I think that means that, uh, yes, we are actually in the middle of unlocking that set of Kevlar armor. You'll love to see it. But uh, what should we call over here in week three? I got to kill them 30 times. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. What now? Oh, mama. Well, we got to come back to this frozen wood quite a lot. Luckily, we're making some good progress over here on the firearm damage. I got to use them in basements a little bit. I got. Oh, my God. Kill foxes with a road sign. That's brutal. Visit a watchtower and kill some flota bloaters. All of these I will attempt my best to do. But without further ado, I believe that this location has completely cleared out, lads and lassies. We are good. We are great. We are grand. We are golden. The brand new Frozen Wood location, the first time we've ever went to it, is officially cleared out. And if you ask me, things came up pretty millhouse over here. Nah, nah, nah. Billy Mays here. But wait, there is more. The adventure continues at the snowy... Do I have enough weapons for the snow? A little, little, uh, little bit sketched out. Might need a few extra weapons. Also about to be naked. Lots of things like I need a new Santa hat. I can't unfortunately shove this zombie head on my hat, nor can I remove his hat, which doesn't make sense because it seems pretty easy. Just boop, take the hat right off, toss it on myself. But no, apparently that is top level science. That's, that's too high level for me, okay? That's like you gotta be like level 50. I'm only a level five, metaphorically speaking. You know what I mean? <gasps> a fox! Unfortunately, I don't have a road sign to kill you with. I am very sorry, fox. I have disappointed you. Yeah, yeet! Uh, you, you're just dead. You're not even disappointed. You are dead. Now, now, now! I would like to get some sneaky deaky type of attacks on you! Do, 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 do. Okay, no, now is not soldier boy time. Sorry, sorry. No, oh my god! I forgot about the guzzlers and the fact that they love to dance. We'll continue to dance, Guzzler. I love it. You are a marvelous dancer. And uh, don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Okay, okay. Don't let your memes be dreams. And don't let your dreams be memes, you know? Oh, uh, I just get excited when I see loot. I don't know, man. Y'all know me. Speaking of which, great to know that uh, we are going to have a raid lined up for later today. So my raiding needs, you know, like I, I physically need to raid to stay alive. So luckily, those needs will be met, which is some marvelous news. Let's go and pick up these ornaments. All of those are definitely quite necessary as well. As we have four more days of the holy, holy, jolly days, y'all. Yeah. Let's finish you, and let's finish you. And there you guys can see our Bardi armor taking that dent that I was talking about. But luckily with this event, it is very possible to take out a lot of the bad guys with the usage of sneaky deaky attacks. And I will continue doing exactly that. Uh, you, I'll just go ahead and saw blade. I was hoping that maybe I'd get like a critical. Honestly, I could have just let Floater Bloater over there freaking sumo wrestle him to death, but no, I gave him the quick and painless death of getting sawed in half by 
well, just a giant thing that I swing around. Although I will say the thing that I swing is pretty freaking big and advanced looking. So I will give it that. Yay! And I swing my thing yet again from behind and the fast biter has fallen. Now, 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 there's some sort of a uh, elaborate mountain range here and quite some oive, diseased wolves. Oh my goodness gracious. Actually, quite a lot of diseased wolves. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to whip out some shotgun rain and I'm prepared to, uh, well, hi okay, here's what I should do. I should get, I uh, do, they're just going to do a lot of damage. I'm a little bit concerned about this. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to, oh, gather around, children, gather around. Dude, this is awful. Shotgun rain. Marvelous. Some of them died. Oh, I'm taking so much damage. Die, 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 die. Oh, all right. Yeah, that dude, infected wolves do a lot of damage, man. Oh, I, I, I'm an expert iron miner. You'll love to see it. I am mining iron all the time in my free time. Yes, indeed. How did you know? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some more infected and diseased wolves that I got to ya yeet. Marvelous. The ya yeet is complete. And all right. Most of this event, I feel like should be cleared out. Hopefully. I mean, we got a pretty nice version of this event, too. I don't want to open my mouth too early here, but we have not had to deal with the most obnoxious of enemies, a.k.a. the 500 health frozen bloater mini boss that tends to appear here at times. He is a douche canoe of the biggest degree, okay? It's not that fun lad to deal with. He's like an angry person from customer support. No, he's like an angry person talking to customer support when, you know, I don't know, when Karen's going berserk on the other side of the line, you know? And okay, this is not the good chest. We know every one of these locations actually drops a really good chest and I need some good chest in my life. So I'm gonna go and find it. But uh, yeah, speaking of things as well and kind of getting derailed and like I was talking about with the sort of lack of videos and specifically also Last Day Honored videos in the past couple of days, I saw a lot of speculation. I saw people say like, oh my God, Star is so sick of season four. He's abandoned Last Day on Earth. Uh, well, I'm a little bit mad at season four. Don't get me wrong. And I'll talk about that a little bit more as well. But uh, no, I'm, I'm not just going to abandon it. Oh, this Guzzler did not dance. I am sad now. But uh, no, that is not at all what happened. Like I said, I'll go ahead and explain. But I did want to follow up on the something that I was really excited to do. And we are still doing, by the way. Just want to make sure that you boys and girls do know about the 2020 giveaway. 20 gift cards of the winner's choice being given away over 20 days over on our Instagram. All that you got to do is follow our Instagram account at StarSnipe. Woo! Love to see the hat over there. and Needed me another one of those. Just got to go and follow our Instagram account at StarSnipe. Link will be at the top of the description down below in the pinned comment. All of those wonderful places you will be able to find exactly that which i speak of yeah yeet let's go and take him down and then i'll start sawing this guzzler in half and put in the finishing oh my god blows to you but yeah all that you guys literally have to do is enter to enter is follow our instagram there will be a follow-up video going up in the Tretkan rain coming oh lights these unfortunately are the carrot lights and not the zombie eye lights there will be a follow-up video within the next couple of days, and also I'll make an Instagram post as well that you boys and girls will see detailing the giveaway and just kind of like a more official beginning to it, but I want to give you guys and gals a heads up. The way that you enter, follow our Instagram account, at StarSnipe. That's, that's literally it. You just got to follow our account. Yeah, so if you don't have an Instagram account, you can literally just make one and follow us, and you'll, you'll be good to go. It's, it's really that straightforward. Yes, and ooh, good stuff coming. Now, I do kind of want to grab a couple of extra guns from home. I'm a little bit concerned because we have, honestly, like, this is a pretty hard event that kind of, at least the first time, we didn't know what to expect. It kind of ate through quite a lot of our supplies. So, sorry about the burp there. I want to make sure that we have enough supplies for potentially having to fight the Spotify CEO zombie reindeer himself. A little bit terrified of that fella because, uh, let me just say, he has been pushing his service rather hard. So hard that he's trying to kill me. Terrifying. I know. Hello, Raiders. I'll talk to you at some point. Maybe. We'll see. Hello, alrighty. We're rocking some pretty nice attire here. If you ask me, we brought, uh, we scrounged together a pretty unique outfit. You know, I've been trying to respect the drip over here. Respect the drip, Karen. Huh? If any of you guys have seen that TikTok, it's hilarious. If not, you probably just think that I am talking to, the, to my imaginary friend named Karen. And you know what? I will not confirm nor deny the existence of Karen and or what evil deeds she might be planning. But respect the trip, Karen. Respect the drip. Now then, we are relatively armed. If you ask me, I think we got more than enough to get it done. 
over here at the snowy forest edge, the final of the three events. And I mean, we brought the minigun too, which will definitely be a big help. So let's go ahead and make our way over there. But yeah, best luck in that 2020 giveaway. Like I'm saying, there will be more info coming as well. But want to give you guys that heads up so you can be prepared for it. And also, while you are at it and kind of following other things, uh, you guys should also definitely check out our Star Snipe Call of Duty mobile channel as well. Link to that will also be in the description. If you guys like Call of Duty Mobile, I'm trying to cover it a little bit over there and drop videos whenever I can. And we actually oftentimes get beta access to early updates over there too. So it's pretty cool, especially a new zombie map just released. So, well, I'm guessing you like zombies. You might be interested by it. So go over there, subscribe, check out the videos. I think y'all might definitely enjoy it. But uh, with that said and with that done, well, 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 we have a date with a deer. And then I'll let you guys know what's been happening over the past couple of days, because like I said, I, I do need to explain. Oh, this is the Spotify deer. I thought it was. Yeah, this 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 guy over here is not going to help us uh, take out this deer. We are on our own. So this ought to be uh, very fun. 10 out of 10 would have fun again. Oh, my God. I'm having so much fun. Oh, at first I was being sarcastic, but then the body parts, baby, the body parts. They started flying. All right, all right, all right. Well, enough insanity for now. I might use the minigun just kind of... Come on, no, kill him. There you go. The minigun does do 20 damage a pop, and they literally have 20 health left. So it's... it's. Oh, he did not have 20 health left. He had... Well, his body except his legs left. And you know what? That's respectable. That's completely respectable. All right, ain't no shame in that. Come on, henchman. Oh, shotgun rain is not letting you live long today. Hello. Oh, we got to live a little bit. Well, it's yeet. No, I don't want to accidentally kill the fox. I like how I just mowed that fox down with some minigun bolts and he literally didn't care. The man has six health left and he's just like, yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty, that's okay. That's okay, okay over there. Oh, goodbye to you and ya. Uh, boop. To you. And all right, and then we'll make our way over to the Spotify deer. We are making pretty decent progress here. If you ask me, first things first, though, we got to check what's on the picnic table, baby. You never know. Could be life-saving. That water right there, that could have saved our lives. You never know. All right. Or it might just make us pee. Honestly, saving lives and spreading vitamin P, that sounds like the same mission to me. And all right. Yet another task completed. You'll love to see it. And, well, we are about to hopefully complete the task of defeating this monstrosity. Good God, what has he been doing up here? I, oh, there he is. I think I see him over there on the left. I just want to, you know, uh, we're on patrol. We're on patrol. Oh, my God. This is the most cannibalistic deer I've ever seen. Oh, hello, frozen bloater. How you doing? I'll kill you with the minigun. Why not? Let's have a little bit of fun, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, deer. I did not mean to do that to you. Oh, I like ornaments. The Christmas tree ball. Nice. That sounds like a fancy dance. Hey, level 24 is ours. And so... Oh, some trousers. And all right, I think we've cleared out pretty much this entire location. Now, all that awaits is the boss man, boss deer, deer boss, Franken deer himself, the Spotify CEO. Hello, Object 422. Please do not hit me with your antlers because that will. Can Ow, I'm canceled. I'm canceled. Oh, no. Please don't cancel me, deer. Please don't cancel me. Ow, I'm getting canceled. Stop canceling me, deer. Ow. I said stop canceling me. There you go. Okay, you love to see. Let's make sure they don't die. Let's continue mowing you full. Ow, of the bullets. Okay, I got a feeling this deer is about to do his patented yell here. I despise you with a passion, deer. Ow. Please stop yourself. Stop it. Let me rev up my. Oh, my God. This just, I just want to. I just want to minigun you. Oh, thank you. Finally, he understands. The importantness of the situation. Okay, hold on here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go back to the minigun. We're gonna use the minigun as much as we can, man. We're gonna be able to do, oh, no, 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 no. Nice, we almost got caught in that. He's gonna try and eat a little bit of that food. We are not gonna let him because if we do let him, he will heal. And I do not want him to heal, honestly. One of the last things that I want to do. And oh, mama. Ow, ow, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. This is bad, this is bad. We do, okay, hold up. Uh, nah, nah, my shirt. No, oh, this is not good. This is not, oh, no, J. Baliba. Jima I completed a test. That's good. But everything else is going on. Is not. Ow. I might start freezing to death. Oh, my God. My clothes have taken a bigger hit than I expected. All right. You know, we're going over here to the freaking. Uh, we're getting some pistol because I am afraid that I am going to start dying. 
of a little thing called freezing. Ow, I despise you with a passion. Hold on. Even better, dude. Even better. You know what I'm going to try and get? I'm going to get this VSS going. Honestly, that might be able to do, ow, a little bit of a bigger damage. I hate this object with a passion, but the VSS is good. Dude, oh my God. 10 damage of bullets. Why are you the most obnoxious enemy ever? Actually, I don't know. I haven't been to Bunker Bravo in a minute, so I think my amnesia might be kicking in. You're not the most obnoxious, but you are definitely obnoxious, you freaking deer. I know that you're going to suck. Ow, don't freaking, don't hit me into the grill. All right, why are you getting all up in my grill, dog? Huh? Not cool. Then neither is the VSS over here. This is taking some major L's. And okay, he's going to summon his freaking... His lackeys over there. No, 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 no heals for you. And okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with these guys first and foremost. I'm a little bit concerned. More with the deer. There we go. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Barely got that. Ow, heal off just in time. I just want to kill the baby deers first. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. And okay, and then what we're gonna do while we continue getting more and more naked by the second. I really hope that I don't start freezing to death because I really think that we are on the brink of that happening. We got the oozy jacuzzi, baby. Let's try and put these finishing blows in before things hit the fan. Ow, stop with the headbutts. Come on. We talked about this, Mr. Deer. Ow. We talked about this, Mr. Deer. Did you, did, you, did, you, did you not leave your ears open, my kind sir? Okay, we had a very in-depth conversation and it went a little like this. Stop doing that freaking object 422 blaze it. Okay. Ow. I did oh, just just I. I I just, I, can, can I get other, ow, versions of this event that don't involve the most obnoxious deer in the history of deer? Death to zombie deer, Spotify CEO 422 himself. I'm looting your dang grill, and I'm going to go report to, ooh, turkey. I'm going to go report to your master. The person who created you over here that you're dead. All right, I'm going to do it with a psychopathic smile on my face. Because you're the worst, deer. Genuinely the worst. Get out of the way, tree! All right, I ain't got time for your shenanigans right now, dog. It's a pity we had to neutralize the object. We! There was no we! Are you blind? That, that was an I. That was an I. There is no we in this situation. Okay? I don't know where he got this we from, okay? Because I don't see no we tennis going on it. Ooh, shiny. I am upset. All right. That, that is just no... No, he lie. He lie. Do not believe single word that that comrade says. It is all lies. No. Not cool, dude. Not cool, but... There we have it. That's cleared out. And I am out. Let's make our way over to the Christmas area. But yeah, uh, over the past couple of days, we actually were over at an awesome event. CES 2020 over in Las Vegas. And ooh, what is this? Maybe ah, I thought it might be the junkyard. And uh, what you recall? As a part of that, we actually went over there in partnership with Samsung to do some really cool stuff. If you boys and girls want to know more about that, there's going to be a video coming up as well detailing that a little bit but yeah we literally got to work with samsung man that was freaking insane and so over on our instagram and actually twitter you guys can see a little of what we did get to do and you boys and girls will be seeing some more as well but it was a super cool partnership and a super cool opportunity but i had to record some videos ahead of time right as a man do so you guys would have content and i actually did record some videos but i had to finish some editing during the trip and that's why, you know, while I was there, we started a couple videos going live and all. But for the past couple of days, uh, that kind of changed. And the reason for that is because, uh, well, pretty much I was traveling in a party. You know, it was a group of people. And uh, someone in the group did take a bit of a scary fall and uh, actually got hit on the head, which kind of was uh, very, very terrifying. Don't want to go into too much detail or anything like that. But yeah, somewhat like that, that was definitely a bit of a, a terrifying situation. And uh, that, that kind of derailed things and made for a very, very stressful time. Everything's all good now, though. At least I think so. I really hope so. But yeah, no, we, we, we took care of everything with that. Everything's all well. But definitely that was a that definitely derailed the situation quite a little bit. But all is well. And the most important thing is that, you know, the, the person who did get hit on the head, every, everything's good with them. So that was a super stressful time. And I'm sorry that it kind of did lead to me not being able to upload every day while I was gone. But we are back. The daily uploads are coming back, and we got some shenanigans we got to get to as well. I'm going to try and get back to the double uploads as well. So plenty of fun times coming. But yeah, I did want to just offer a bit of an explanation in regards to what's been going on the past couple of days. We're back. Last Day on Earth is returning, and so are all the other games. And uh, yeah, we got some great stuff to cover, man. Like, for example, the frozen wood of today and some of these other tasks that we are knocking out. But dude, 
Especially that frozen wood, man. That is something, and I am curious to see if there are going to be other frozen woods or, like, exactly what is going to be going on with that. And here's what I want to do. I want to upgrade this mother trucking zombie head itself. I want to try and get this thing up to... Dude, how is it, how is it failing this often? Like, actually. But anyways, I want to try and get this thing up to level 20. We've successfully gotten ornaments up to level 20 before, like, long streaks of failure, right? And okay, this is a very long streak of failure here. We are blowing through quite a lot. Come on, baby. Let me get to level 20. Because then I want to start using my golden duct tape. Because let me just say, the duct tape is a little bit more rare, dude. Oh my god, I despise this workbench sometimes. The duct tape plus streak it go is a little bit more rare to get than actually getting the parts. But we managed to get this up to level 20. And at least in my eyes, level 20 is like the sweet spot because uh, it's pretty doable. And after that, it just kind of gets sketchy. So now we start using the duct tape. And now we start refining this. And we know for a fact that this will no longer fail. This will constantly succeed. And that is the good news. So we want to try and upgrade this ideally to level 30 at least. Wow, dude. Come on. Can we please get to level 30? We're going to need more duct tape. Oof literally one level away but you guys and gals are gonna see look at how many points over six thousand points on that head that is absolutely skyrocketed us in points and wow we're still halfway in the top 50 percent bruh bruh what does it take to satisfy you season four? Oh my god we're blowing through ornaments and duct tape like no other and like i'm like uh, Duct tape's a pain to get, man. Duct tape is definitely a pain. But all right. At least we managed to move up the leaderboard. And as much as I do want to end in that top 5%, things are looking a bit rough for that cause, I must say. But I don't know. Hopefully, we can at least end up a couple of tiers higher here. And obviously, we still, we still got to... Another thing that'll be a huge help is when we do get the better lights and we upgrade those lights. Because you guys saw, right? Level 29 zombie head over 6,000 points. I think upgraded lights will be able to get us a lot. And I mean a lot of points as well. Because like the lights in the head both get a lot more points per level up. It's actually pretty absurd. So our hunt for the lights does continue. And hopefully we can find those zombie eyes here at some point. But in the meantime, we'll put the ornaments away. And uh, we are going to prepare for today's raid that we do have lined up, which is looking like a good one. And honestly, maybe we go and hit up the rest stop event to try to get a couple of weapons here, you know, especially with all the weapons that we have been blowing through. So we will go ahead and do that. Hopefully it hasn't disappeared yet. I know that it appeared. I it, I think it disappeared too. Well, Sunny Jim, but that is unfortunate. I tell you what. Why don't we go and hit up the airdrop then? We got it. It was meant to be 28 energy. I used up 28 energy. I got zero left. Mwah! Magnifique, a baby. Just the way it was meant to be. But then we'll go home, grab a couple weapons, and set out to raid May, which I do believe should be a pretty juicy raid, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I just want to kind of explain what's been going on for the past couple of days and let you guys know that uh, definitely should follow us over on Instagram, not just for a summary of the events that we have been covering and stuff like that, but also there's going to be a 2020 gift giveaway going on and being based entirely around there die talk spitter and two is spit on you pathetic and uh yeah awesome stuff going on over there and our twitter as well but th there's no giveaway going on on the twitter but if you want to follow us on twitter too at star snipe one on twitter link should also be in the description and woo you'll love to see it they got some pretty decent stuff up in here and maybe we'll be able to get the chopper event to spawn in that's kind of the big thing that we have been trying to get to happen just like in general so come on baby no way no way no way no way but yeah and uh kind of, kind of the reason for the past couple of days of being no uploads like i said is that i i did literally record videos but i just because of the whole situation that arose i did not have time to edit them upload them and like make the thumbnails and all that type of stuff because that that kind of like definitely derailed things quite a little bit but i'm, I'm just happy that at the end of the day you know everyone's safe and healthy with what happened over there because that was definitely a bit of a scary predicament to get into sorry that i don't want to get into like specifics with what happened it's just like definitely a spooky moment that i just kind of want to like kind of kind of forget about it but i did think that you boys and girls definitely lads and lassies do deserve a bit of an explanation so it was really random to just not have like 
any videos going up for a couple days, you know? How do I further ado? We got everything we need to get this raid underway. All that we gotta do is uh, assemble the components in the way that they ought to be assembled, AKA, I'm not just gonna be throwing wood and rocks and nails and iron at these walls. But instead, we are making big brain move. We create hatchets and other shenanigans like that to help us break down the uh, obstacles that will be in the way. But uh, back to what I was saying, super excited to get this last week of the season underway because, I mean, it's definitely been a cool little season. But I'm more excited to see what season five has in store for us, especially with some of the teasers with stuff like zombie bears and, and not to mention the abandoned mine that we saw teased as well. Like it genuinely seems like season five is gonna have some really cool stuff in store as well. So a lot of stuff to be excited for. And honestly, like the Christmas update, it's been, it's been a nice little season, you know, but it hasn't been a big season. You know, it was like season three, for example, adding in freaking an entirely new bunker. You know, like I want the big boy updates. I want the stuff that brings a lot of stuff with it. And that is what hopefully season five will uh, have in store and all that type of jazz. But let me know what your boys and girls think of that. What are you guys excited for? Whether it be in season five or I don't know, just really anything at all in that comment section down below. And or what do you boys and girls think of season, not season, not no season four, week three is so far. What and especially what do you guys think about that new frozen wood event? How is killing close in the frozen giants gone? And also, is there different versions of the frozen wood that I uh, maybe don't necessarily know about? I would really love to hear about that in that comment section down below. So make sure to let me know and remind that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly $25 at your place store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure the like button, make sure subscribe to that little tree you win on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter it on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week, pick a random comment from that random video, and that will be the order for the week. It will kick off for the weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter it on for that weekly giveaway, not to mention all the other dope survival games that especially last day on earth shenanigans and especially the season four shenanigans and all future shenanigans and just updates and stuff like that it's a come as well great way of staying in the loop so without further ado let's get this raid underway a knock knock it's your boy star and it's another raid that we're going on in Woo, baby we got ourselves a lot of chests by the looks of it, cannot wait to go and break into those and see what's up in my pants! They took my pants! Shot to go to rain! You will pay for such a crime, such a transgression against all of Star Snipe and Sniper Gang kind. Nothing worse of a treason than destroying the pants. Ooh! And here we're gonna be getting our aluminium back. You'll love to see it. And let's go ahead and see what these other chests do have in store. And depending on. Ooh! Hello! How the rest of this raid does go. I did a little bit of scouting on this base, right? And apparently, we can also break into this room over here. There isn't a lot of loot, but there is actually a generator that we could steal and bring home. Now, that intrigues me. That intrigues me a lot. Bringing home a generator it could be a very nice usage of... Whoa! Let's go! Woo! Oh, let's not go! I got no pounds. Have mercy, please. Oh, now let's go and get everyone nice and whole. Oh, let's not die. That would have been really bad. Riled up and shot together. Rain! There we go. We dealt with all the small boys. Now we deal with some of the big boys. And we will be good to go from there. Let's hit the toxic abomination with the slow-mo so we can deal with that fella first and foremost and take him out from there. That is the second wave of zombies successfully dealt with. But yeah, best of luck in the weekly giveaway, lads and lassies. Wishing you nothing. Uh, but the best and definitely stay tuned plenty of good stuff to come plenty more raids to come and even today's raid and man whoo, whoo, whoo. it's looking nice all right though so i got plenty of more chests to break into here lads and lassies so we will continue breaking and entering wow that chest was empty that makes me sad but that's okay that's okay that chest was also empty my sadness continues chests can you guys please stop just stop being empty you know, that'd be really cool of you. Ooh. And we got our cults back. You'll love to see it. Definitely was not looking forward to uh, potentially leaving that in the line of action. And mm, as much as I'd love... I, I don't know. I just don't want to use a C4 for a generator. You know, like... 
I don't know, man. We we could break into another room, but that's going to make a lot of noise. It's going to make the rest of this raid more difficult. And for a generator, like, I still have a few of those back at home. And, like, I don't know. We don't have to use generators all that often. And, I don't know. I don't want to use a C4, man. Like, I got a decent stockpile of C4. Ooh, nice piece of candy. I got a decent stockpile of C4 built up. You know? Especially with the little break we've had from raiding over the past, like, couple of weeks. But... I don't know, man. I just, uh, for one generator, I don't know if that's worth it in my eyes. You know, let's go and hit these dudes with a big old blast of... Well, hold on, hold on. I just want to line up a really nice shot. I am butt naked. That's not good. Shot together. Rain! Marvelous! Let's back it up. Those guys are going to be able to do a lot of damage over here. Boop! That guy completely avoided our shotgun rain blast, which is a bit of a bummer. Luckily, we also do have all of the perks, right, from our adventures of leveling up. So we should be able to do this raid with a... Oh, no! All right, well, got to use a little bit of shotgun rain. Luckily, we don't make too much noise from shooting or from raiding and breaking into chests. So that's good. Or we make slightly less, I think, thanks to some of the perks that we have unlocked. So definitely a nice little bonus there. Over here, we got some decent stuff. That, honestly, I might grab the oak logs. For now, those continue breaking into these chests. We should be able to break into, honestly, all of them except the last one. Pretty stress-free. I would love some clothes, by the way. That would lessen my stress because the big one will make an appearance. Ooh, lots of paint. And when he does, we're going to have to deal with him. I, uh, I do not want to deal with the big one when I'm butt naked. The big one hits hard. I think he'll hit us for like 50 damage a pop while we are naked. That is bad. That is, specifically speaking, very bad. But, I don't know, we got a lot of food. We could maybe just like food spam a little bit. Get out of it like pretty unharmed. Um, nom, 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 nom. Let's chat on a cupcake over there. Uh, but for now, let's make sure that we put a lot of the valuables away just in case things do hit the fan. We got a couple of pretty valuable metal plates, which is always good. We got some weapons out of this raid, a flare gun. Overall, pretty nice. The Magnum. We actually got from the revenge part of this raid. I actually let him loot a magnum and some aluminum bars off me. But the rest of this should be ours. Should be good to go. Low key, I'm grabbing the paints. I'm grabbing the wire. Big fans of those two. Probably the cameras too. Always could go for some more lenses. Everything else I got a decent stockpile of. Not too concerned about in that chest. And oh, here's what I might do as well too, right? I'll put that food up in there. Son of Jim Bob. And uh, hmm. I might grab this food too and just spam heal. Instead of using the first aid kits, right? I'll bring a ton of food with me. If all goes well, we should be able to avoid too much pain and suffering. Ideally, all pain and suffering, but it's just three med kits. I'll potentially leave that behind because I do want to grab that instead. Also, I'll leave behind some of the poopier melee weapons that I really don't need. Honestly, I'll, I'll keep the shovel. And road sign, yeah, I need you. I got a need for you specifically, Mr. Road sign. You're sticking around, baby. And I'll leave behind the cupcakes. Chow down on those. Fill up on our water. Fill up on our hunger. And everything else here. Pretty disposable if you ask me. And the question is though. If this last chest is anything good. We gotta be ready to abandon some stuff. So what do we abandon if the goods are good? And honestly. I reckon we abandon pretty much that column of stuff. So hopefully all goes well. Because the big one's wrath is probably going to be summoned. And I don't want to die. Oh! Oh, don't let me die. Oh, nice. You love to see. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, spam heal. Spam heal. Spam heal. Oh, he's already doing 65 damage. I'm out. See you later, big one. You smell like rotten fish. Woo! And with that. Sorry, I just got that one. Just had to, you know, toss that. Toss that his way. Just kind of, you know, do it. Do it for the big one there. <laughs> He did smell like rotten fish, but uh, that marks our triumph, that marks our success, and that marks the end of today's last day on Earth video and shenanigans. Hopefully, you boys and girls did enjoy wishing you nothing but the best luck with the rest of your day. Hopefully, it's absolutely amazing, absolutely incredible, with nothing but giggles and smiles coming your way, and maybe a couple hundred dollar bills that randomly appear on the ground. That would be pretty cool, too. Not going to lie. But uh, yeah, that's going to what I saw wrapping it up. For me for now. Thank you guys a whole thing for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.